Yo, what's up guys? Say she's here talking about transcending your main character. So as you have noticed, probably by now you can transcend your main character and you need these energy of harmony, transcendence and chaos. Um, I'm at level 66 right now. I'm actually relatively close towards going uh, 68. I am one of the first in the server to probably get there because I kind of focus on it. And also I kind of know like where to get them. So one of the easiest ways that you can get them as a full piece is, of course, Rapture. So you always want to do your Rapture. If you kind of sack this one, you can get like a full piece of these there. You always want to do these, oh, like literally just always, like the moment that it's up, just do it at least once a day. Another place where you can get them is actually a repeat quest from Rapture as well, which you can do on multiple characters. Let's see if I can find them. Yeah, they are over here. So you have to do them a bunch of times. So... First, if you do them, you have to do them five times and then you get like each one of them. And then if you do them another 15 times, you get the full of them. So you technically you can get like eight pieces per and you can do that for both distorted and for sunken. And you can do that on all three characters. I already did that all on all three characters. So that is one way to get it pretty quick. So afterwards, you've done your, um, your ruptures. You have done the things on the quest. Where can you get the rest? I've seen the mistake that a lot of people try to get them from the repeat quest, which is this one. And this one is actually legitimately garbage. Do not do this one. By all means, this is one of the worst places to get it. I tried this in an A server. I was like, oh, this is where you get them, apparently. No, this is where you not get them. This is where you get scammed. The thing is, it shows this drop, but it's not exactly this drop rate. It can drop this, but there's no guarantee that you drop this. The funny thing is what I actually noticed later is all of these um things they don't give exp except for this one this apparently gives exp in here as well same as in here so i guess if you want to raise your monsters it's kind of worth it i'm also not sure this one actually oh, it only costs one that's actually pretty cheap not gonna lie because most of them this costs two and these cost four so that's actually cheaper than i thought but still this is a freaking scam i did at some point i think like a hundred of them and i got like zero of these pieces so you don't want to do that but where do you get your rapture pieces then you actually get them from getting uh, Path of Growth tickets. So you want to use all of your Rahul orders to get Path of Growth tickets. You can't get them if you do the Essence Dungeons, which is also decent from time to time, or getting these. Also keep in mind, if you do this one, you don't always get these two. You get like one of them or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how it works for that one. But you don't get that all the time. So I highly recommend going for the Path of Growth tickets. Then if you go to the Path of Growth, it is pretty simple. Path of Training drops the red one. So you're going to have to do this quite a bunch. You cannot just go straight into only farming this one because as you probably have noticed, you get a shit ton of the purple one, which is of course from the rune dungeons. You get a shit ton of those, but this one is probably the one you're lacking on most, uh, the energy of harmony pieces. So this one, you actually have to do quite a bunch of subjugation. I've been spamming quite a bunch of Path of Training and subjugation to get this working. Do not just straight up waste your tickets just for getting these, because this one you can figure out like which dungeon you want to farm. This is the easy one. The, the purple ones are very easy. Path of Training, I recommend you to go on this one. And you can get a full Argon from this. So this is not an Argon piece. This is a full Argon. But I tried this in the NA server. I had like, I think like 500 something tickets and I never got a single argon from it. I think with including the EU server right now, I did like over 800 tickets. I never got an argon from it. So odds of getting that one is very slim. But what you do want to do on this one right now is I actually started doing these on um, both Kina and Cleave. Because if you're level your side characters, you still get EXP from your side characters, and that counts towards, of course, your account level. Um, since that path of training is that easy, I also started doing it in a team, for example, where I was using, let's say I used, I think I used one of these teams, let me see. I think I did it with Argon, and then I just started leveling the Hunter over there. This thing can be level uh, 70, but I just slowly level it in there, so I don't have to use the um exp potions on it i just slowly level it anyways and then i did that all together on the cleave or on the kina to just get them exp as well and for therefore just slightly help the account level as well so therefore you're not just straightly wasting your tickets to get the transcendence pieces you kind of make use to it that you're kind of getting other stuff in as well and the same thing i would recommend for subjugation subjugation might feel like the most useless 
you kind of have to do all of them to level 10 at some point so i would recommend to start with that uh, there are a bunch of quests that you have to do for your um well just in general for like the main area i think it's these at some point yeah you have like subjugation you get a bunch of these rewards in a dance like super interesting not really but if you want to do this on all three characters to get this devilmon at some point like you could start with the, uh, these um something that you also get from subjugation is the weapons that you actually have to throw in for blacksmith so at some point you have to hand in a bunch of these weapons for blacksmith which you get through subjugation so don't uh, toss everything that you get from subjugation uh save like one of a piece from all of them pretty much and at some point you will notice that you actually have if you go to the shop and the subjugation section you notice that you have enough of these uh points that you can just buy specifically every weapon that you want so you don't really need too much of them but it can kind of help you out to get your blacksmith to a higher level if you didn't do that yet uh, then it's also interesting okay which one of those like let's say you're already done with your blacksmith which one of those do you actually want to focus on which one do you want to farm and you have this crafting material which is actually used for specific clothes so if you want to get specific clothes i think i made this one for example i think i need just a few more pieces from one of the things like i already got like a few pieces of that i think i could maybe actually create the last piece yeah, I can create the last piece because I got more faint core. So this is something that I cared about support for monster uh, or attack power for no wait attack just for monsters that are support type. We can get that one. Yes, sir. We have another outfit completed, which is just a slight extra. And as you can see here, this is where you get those. So you can kind of choose like, OK, which one of the dungeons do I farm according to which one of those dresses you would find useful somewhere in the future. So in my case, I went for support because often I ran like I run something double support with like Bastet and Annabelle later at some point or whatnot. That those are just ideas that I was like, okay, I could kind of oh, this one is actually something that I could craft as well. Warrior HP. I don't use too many warriors though, but it's just like slight overall improvements for um, your whole account. So you don't really want to waste your tickets by saying like, okay, I'm just going to do 500 in this month hella overstack this material hella overstacking this material now you kind of want to spread it out in between if i'm not mistaken you have these helmets they are also used for i would have to check where they are exactly used because i'm pretty sure maybe not this one i think maybe in blacksmith one of the higher tiers of some of the other things I'm not entirely sure where they are used, but I had a feeling that they were used at some point. So, yeah, these are the materials you get from the uh, Path of Adventure. So that's your rune dungeon. So uh, this one, this is the one. So if you want to make something from 5.5 five to 6, you actually need these materials that you get from subjugation. So depending on what kind of uh, materials you have or what kind of equipment you have that is currently 5.5 five, and you might be like, hmm, this is 5.5 five right now, but I actually want to make it to a higher tier at some point. It's mainly for Naraka, I guess. Yeah, it's Naraka 5.5 five to Naraka 6, it seems. Because Naraka 6 to 6.1 needs these things from Path of Adventure. So, therefore, it is just nice if you have like 32 of each one of those. So, it's mainly for the accessory, if I'm not mistaken. So, you kind of want to farm until you have like 32 of each of those because each different accessory piece needs like different one of them and as you can see i have like 32 in most of them already but i think i'm missing out the one for the necklace yes yeah, so i need a little bit of more of those so if you were over stacking like just doing one dungeon you have like 800 of those at some point it's cool you can make like six necklaces but then all of the other equipment you're like oh oops i kind of messed that one up so that is something you definitely want to look out for and Probably you have noticed that already, but the six equipment, six star equipment is a lot stronger than the five star equipment. If we compare, for example, a six on this, that's 17k HP or a five five. And if we go for a six, oh, wait, that's actually not that much more. It starts getting more at the six one. Yeah. Okay. So five five to six is not that big of an improvement, it seems, but five five to um, six one, that's an insane improvement or actually six to six one is an insane improvement. So that is something you definitely want to aim for but then you will also notice um which you can also focus on already like let's say you're only spamming like you spent a lot of the energy in or a lot of the tickets into the dungeon for uh this one but as you notice like i'm also going to need pieces for example for this one which i have to do the rodos 
um, for this one, which I probably have to do the uh, this one I already did because this is the crocodile. I have a bunch of those. But as you can see, there's a bunch of them that you will have to do. And in Naraka, you can buy the gear as six from the shop, but you still have to make it six one. So for example, I would have to farm this uh, enough if I want to make these things from six to six one. So therefore, I would have to farm something else than just one rune dungeon all the time, which is not a big issue like doing the other rune dungeons. Because in most cases, everyone asks me, it's like, how to ruin this, how to ruin that. Stats are more important than the set effects in most cases in this game. So keep that in mind when you're farming those. So just a bunch of tips. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a thing or two about Transcendence. And guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and see you later.